Assalamualaikum and a very good morning everyone. So today we are going to read about the traditional accessory worn at the Gawai Dayak Festival. Gawai Dayak is a festival celebrated in Sarawak on the 1st and 2nd June every year. The Gawai Dayak is celebrated by the Dayaks. During this festival, a traditional dance called the Ngajat is performed. While performing the dance, the male dancers wear a headgear called Burang Sumba. It is made of cloth with golden lace. They wear a long loin cloth called Tahoop. It is wrapped neatly around the body with one end hanging down in front and the other end hanging behind. They wear bangles and a pair of earrings. They hold a long sword in one hand and an ornately decorated shield in the other. The female dancers wear an elaborate head, headdress called sepia and a knee-length dress with intricate weaving. It is called it is called jomu. Their necklaces are made of beads. Copper bangles called sarim are worn on the legs from the knee downward. They wear copper bangles on their arms and forearms as well. Copper belts called porik are also worn by the women by the women. In conclusion, if you have never seen a ngajat dance, visit Sarawak during Gaya, Gawai Daya to experience its uniqueness. Okay. So after you read it, you can read again. After you read it, you have to complete the table. Uh, bawah ni, dia bagi awak satu jadual. You have to complete it. Okay. Look at the descriptions of the descriptions of accessories. Number one, male dancers headgear. Uh, headgear ialah benda yang you pakai atas kepala tu. So, male is lelaki. So, you have to know what is the name of the traditional accessories worn by the male dancers. Uh, atas ni ada. Kita baca dah tadi kan. Nama dia. Dia ada special name for it. Next, number two, the female dancers headdress. Uh, kalau lelaki, dia pakai headgear for the female. They wear the headdress. Ada juga nama dia. You have to look at it. Okay. Next, a long loin cloth. Oh, apa dia tu? Apa dia tu? You have to look for it. Oi. And then, a knee length dress with intricate weaving. Uh, so, every little inch of the uh, of the cloth, of the uh, apa ni, costume, dia ada their own names. Uh, inilah uniknya pakaian orang uh, Sarawak ni. Uh, sepa, semasa perayaan Hari Gawai. Uh, semasa perayaan Hari Gawai ni, break, mereka akan dress up. And the uh, costume ni memang mahal. Uh, kalau yang apa betul-betul kan, it's very very expensive. Uh, sebab semua dia very original, uh, apa, original tu. Uh, yang asli macam uh, bangles uh, gelang-gelang dia tu pun pakai daripada copper copper is tembaga so tembaga is very very expensive nowadays uh, zaman dulu boleh lah gagah kan tapi right now uh, copper ni is very very orang kata uh, berharga lah sebab nak buat dia tu pun bukan mudah ok and then apa lagi uh, bangles worn from the knee downwards apa dia uh, gelang uh, apa ni gelang-gelang yang dipakai daripada lutut ke bawah ha dalam ni ada ni kan copper bangles called tut <laughs> and then the copper belt copper belt tu pun ada nama so you have to write the name of traditional accessories mentioned in the passage ha, kena tulis and then selepas itu you have to answer the questions. Tengok soalan dia ada empat sahaja. The first one, why do you think the ngajat dancers wear traditional clothes during their performance? Kenapa 
penari pengar, penari penari ngajak ini memakai pakaian tradisional semasa mereka membuat persembahan. Ha, kenapa awak rasa macam tu? Ha, kalau ada why, jawapan dia mesti dimulakan dengan it is because. Ha, ia adalah kerana apa 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 apa. You just put the answer. Okay, number two. What is a male dancer's headgear made of? Uh, male dancers headgear hak yang dia pakai kat kepala yang orang lelaki pakai tu diperbuat daripada apa ha, dalam perenggan kedua you can find the answer boleh salin terus kan now you don't have uh, you you i don't think you have problem with that uh, because it is a direct question okay look at number three. what do you think the long sword and shield symbolizes ah uh, pada pendapat awak, apakah maksud uh, sword ni ialah pedang. Pedang yang panjang dan juga shield. Shield tu yang apa tu? Macam Avengers pakai tu. Captain America pakai tu. Uh, yang tu lah shield tu kan. Apa maksud dia? Uh, dia dah habak tak? Dan, dan, dan. Uh, awak rasa apa dia? Uh. And then, uh, next one. Do you think that the younger generation should learn the traditional dance? Why? Ha, dia tanya, adakah awak rasa generasi muda zaman sekarang ni patut mempelajari uh, tarian tradisi mereka? Awak rasa patut ke tak? Ha, geng-geng ha, Sarawak ni uh, mengekalkan uh, mereka punya uh, tradisi tu. Patut atau tidak? Kalau awak kata ya, kalau, kalau awak kata ya, awak tu lah yes. Lepas tu kena bagi pula reason. Why? Kenapa? Kenapa awak kata ya? So, yes, titik. Lepas tu, it is because. Ha, this is your own opinion. Yang ni awak kena bagi awak punya pendapat. Okay. And then yang bawah tu pula. Have you ever worn the traditional attires of other races? Why? Ha, ni dia tanya awak. Adakah awak pernah pakai pakaian-pakaian tradisi bangsa-bangsa lain? Kenapa? Kalau macam teacher, yes, I have. Why? It is because I want to celebrate other um, celebration as well. Uh, macam uh, raya Cina, uh, kita pakailah. Uh, dia pun punya apa tu? Baju dia pun ke? Uh, it is up to you. Uh, kalau pernah pakailah, kalau tak pernah cakaplah. No. Kalau tanya kenapa, why? Because I don't have one. Uh, kerana saya tak ada pun baju tu. Macam teacher, I have um, baju Bengali. Uh, baju Bengali saya ada. Saya ada baju uh, apa tu? Uh, Punjabi pun saya ada. Uh, so, these are the pakaian that I have. Uh, macam baju Cina ni tak ada sebab uh, dia macam apa? Uh, dia seksi sikit kan? Kalau macam baju Punjabi dengan baju orang India ni, uh, dia macam baju kita jugalah. Uh, so, beranilah pakai kalau hak lain tu tak berani. Ha, macam tu. Okay? So, your work for today, you just have to read... Lepas baca, you have to do the exercises. Only these two types of exercises sahaja. Alright? I think that is all for now. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Bye.